It's clean out your closet day. Yay! Maybe the most important article of clothing I have is the infamous. Oops. Yeah. I'm on school. I'm smelling a room makeover. Okay. Right now, let's concentrate on the closet. Right and then now, we'll... we're gonna see the bedroom project. There's Brennan. We're getting ready for school. Good? You excited? Uh, I wish it was actual school. I know, it's a senior year. But in the meantime, we are getting everything ready to go. We still have a few weeks until school starts, but it's time to start planning and getting everything cleaned out and switched over for the new year. So some people call it spring cleaning. This time we are going to be doing fall cleaning. So today is the day, it's clean out your closet day. Yay, can I get a whoop whoop? <laughs> it's clean out your closet day. So we're gonna go, we're gonna start in Brennan's room where he's gonna go through and clean out his closet and take out things that he does not need anymore, does not, do not fit, does not use to make room, room for a new season of clothes. Clean up a lot of stuff in there because it's a lot of stuff really. Oh, my oh, this is very exciting. Okay, this is Brennan's room. Hey, look at that, you made your bed. Okay, Brennan, so let's go through. So what we have to look at here, we have Brennan's dresser, which is right here. And that house is like t-shirt, shorts, that kind of stuff, right? So recently I did do a fat little laundry with almost all my clothes in it because wow. um, what I do is I run a little laundry, get my clothes clean, and then put them back in the dirty basket because I'm too lazy to put the clothes in. <laughs> so eventually you keep and then oh. I have nowhere to put my dirty clothes. Oh, jeez. So okay. And then I put those in the wash. And then there's more clean clothes everywhere. <sighs> and then eventually I have to do it. So I just put like all of the clothes back at once. Good job, Brennan. I'm proud so of you for that. So t-shirts and shorts and stuff like in here should be pretty good. Okay. So everything that you put away in there fits and you'll wear and all that stuff. Correct. And anything that you didn't, what did you do with? Uh, chuck it in that drawer. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan, that's not what you're supposed to do. So this is the, okay, so this drawer is stuff that can go away. Okay, so that is all stuff that we will either sell on Poshmark or give away. Does that sound good? We're going to set up a Poshmark account, you guys, and get rid of stuff. You can buy my shirts. Yes, if you want. Navy water polo shirts, oh, do you think? Actually, some of these, like this is... Russia, so yeah, can't, you gotta keep that. Can't get no, does that fit you still or no? This also from Russia can't get that. Nope. I think it does. I bet it does. Yeah. Maybe. It'll look swollen it. Yeah, precisely. Let's see? Little, uh, oh, that can go to your brother. That's all you, Ryan. Okay, we'll decide on that. Ryan Pyle right there. Ryan Pyle, perfect. Oh, that's a good oh, shirt. shirt. Oh. Yeah, you should keep that one. That's a good one. Ooh, city shirt. Love it, but what is that? Oh, no. It it's looks like... Do you think your brother would wear that? Hey, Ryan! Yo. Come here! I'm gonna toss this to the washroom. Okay. Well, if it's if it's white, then it's probably bleach. Ryan, so we're going through... Brennan, we're doing a closet clean-out today for Brennan and for Katie. Okay. So, Brennan has a few things that you might fit into. Does that fit oh, in? Really? Do you think you can wear that? Wait, is this... What do you think about that, Rye? It's good. Would you wear it? Honestly, yeah. Kind of, yeah. Sure. Cool. A little back to school action on it. I'm glad that my older brother has good fashion because they don't, because I get all of his clothes. Yeah. So his clothes are my clothes. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is this is for a back to school, like getting ready for like, cause normally around school time oh, is when right. we get our seasonal, like we go and get new clothes, right. we but we don't know what clothes to get. School. Uh, now, right? Maybe we'll do some comfortable clothes shopping this year. Cause what we need to do is get rid of all of the stuff that does not fit and then um, backfill with stuff if you need it. Uh-huh. Cool. This should serve me well. Oh, that's a good one, oh, Ryan. It's a Stone, Stone Harbor one. Oh, the Stone Harbor one. So Brendan, now that school's gonna be online, what do you think you'll be wearing? Probably not no shirt. No shirt? Yeah. Okay. And that's how you should do it, so why change it up? I might need some shorts. I might need some new shorts. Okay, so we'll put on our list shorts. Actually, let me give you a quick run through of all my drawers. Socks, underwear, sweatshirts, jackets, etc. Towels, goggles, water polo suits, bathing suits, t-shirts, casual. And then all pants, 
Dress pants, sweatpants, pajama pants. How do they look? That's my concern. I think you've grown out of your pants. We'll see. These are shorts. Like, not really athletic shorts, but just kind of casual shorts. These are the athletic shorts. These are my workout shirts, shirts I can sweat in. I usually bring those out for work. And then that is the drawer you just saw me unpack. Okay. So let's take a look at your closet. Yeah. See what we need to do here. Woo! This is not a very large closet, but it's the Harry Potter closet because it's underneath the stairs. So, black dress shirt. That's fine. Is that good? This is my dress pants thing. Oh, those are good. We got those for homecoming last year, right? Both of them are good. All right, there's three pairs of pants on there. Oh, nice. Little plaid ones, black ones, and blue ones. Beautiful maroon. Oh, that's sure. nice. You just wore that for Katie's confirmation. Correct. We can get the bridge of this robe. It's way too small for me. Okay, very good. Pass that one along. How about the white one? Oh, this one is five. You like that one? It's five. Okay. Oh, I love that shirt. Yeah, me too. Maybe the most important article of clothing I have is the infamous... Oops. Christmas <laughs> blazer. It's velvet. Velvet. That is the best thing ever. Does it fit you, though? Me. Let's see. This red blazer is like the bomb. I think we just bought it for like one Christmas, expecting it wasn't going to fit yeah. for any occasion or any other time. Oh, actually, that's not bad. Does that feel like it feels, fits well? And it goes like perfectly to my wrist. It totally does. <gasps> here, but if you wear a good shirt under it, it's fine. Yeah, I might be able to rock that this Christmas too. Oh my gosh, that's oh, so exciting. Oh my, depends how much I grow. I know, that's I true. More school. Uh oh. So All we right. don't need a new Christmas blazer. <laughs> yeah, we're straight, we're straight on Christmas blazers. <laughs> now we're getting to my favorite section sports jerseys. Oh. Of course. Gotta have the Embiid jersey. Yes. Tool right. Embiid. Tool. Peace, Philip Rivers. He didn't die, but he's on a different team. Okay. No, still a beautiful jersey. Love the royal blue. I'll still be rocking him. And of course, the light up Chargers sweater. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is five. The light up Chargers Christmas sweater. Okay. Absolute five. It's so a, you're. It's a fan favorite. So you're set on um, sports or sports attire. Almost. There's more. Uh, more to come later. Okay. I can tell you for a fact this shirt does not fit. It does not fit. Okay, we can pass that one along. We need Vines Action <laughs> Youth Large Ish. Mm, nope. Poshmark, keep your eyes peeled. Alright. Tiny Hill figure, but extra small. Oh, mm. not gonna fit. Youth Large. No. no, you need some new button downs. Oh, and we need our second little sports patch. Okay. This jersey's inside out, <laughs> but it's a Man City jersey. And this is also inside out, but it's a Vince Carter, North Carolina. Jersey. Nice. Standard hey, polo. that's nice. Oh, what a Steve shirt. Nice. I'm wearing this to my uh, Hawaiian wedding. <laughs> Dope oh, Navy yeah. Seal shirt. I got. Oh, Coronado. yeah, that's nice. Got to represent. That's right. Here, I can give you a, a larger look at that's the poor right. thing. Look at your <laughs> hanger. I make, it work. I make it work. Here, that's good. You make it work. Let's give you one of these. Hold on. I got it. All right, right, Brenna, I need to get you some hangers. So, so far we have shorts and hangers. The jury's out on the button downs. More shirts. Oh, wow. Okay. Corinthians. Nice. And from Brazil. Poor Man City. David Silva. They're going to build a statue for him outside the actually had it. And name the training pitch out after him. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, David. Maybe you drippy his shirt. The <laughs> entire wardrobe is the one. Where did we get this? Antigua. 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 Yes, correct. So adults small, but I think their sizing is a little bit like above. Because last yeah. time I wore this, it fit, fit, fit. Okay, good. Perfect. On the other hand, I bought this one. Wait. That's new too, right? Isn't that, did we get that for the pictures? Oh, yeah, we did. Yes. That fits beautifully. That should fit nice. But in all the pictures, I look like, I, oh, like I'm fat. Like my stomach goes. Whoop. Why? Oh no, because I got a belt tucked in and my belly hangs over it. Oh no! Oh no! You gotta suck your gut in next time, but Brennan. Oh, boy, no. You can suck my gut in, it doesn't work. I'm gonna have to start doing abs. Oh! <laughs> Thought we were done? Nope. <laughs> Nicholas Back. Wait, yeah, this is uh, Backstrom. All time player. Love you, Backy. Um, but I actually got this jersey right before the NHL switched to Adidas jerseys. <gasps> So this is like one of the last Reebok jerseys made. That's cool though, right? I mean, kind of, but like it's kind of... Shoot. Out. It's outdated for now until like... Yeah, then it becomes vintage. Yeah, exactly. 
pretty sure this is dad's shirt, and I took it to match the tie. It is dad's shirt. Well, it's still a good shirt, though. Yeah. Do you want to keep that or give it back? I'll be keeping it. Oh, really? This. Okay. Oh, that's from when you were a little kid. This is my ODP jacket. Water polo from probably 28th grade. Seven oh my gosh, you have to keep that. That's so cute. I'll keep it around for sure. Maybe put it in that bottom drawer. All right, welcome Roll to the bottom drawer. There you go. Bottom drawers and keepers. Do you guys have a place? Like, do you have things that you just can't get rid of? Like clothes that don't well, fit anymore? Well, that's everything that Ryan owns, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he can't, he can't, can't get rid of anything. Ryan. Ryan doesn't get rid of anything. Uh, this. It's limited edition. Oh. Russian hockey jersey. That is cool. Let me see the letters. Oh my gosh. Anybody <laughs> speak Russian or read Russian? That is really, really Russian, cool. Russian hockey dude. So I have to say, there's not much of a clean out so far. We only have three things from your closet that are um, no go. I think there's some small. Oh, maybe this one too. This, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These are all sports. <laughs> oh my gosh. Kevin DeBrona. Nice. The letters are kicking off the back though. Oh, how it means you, it's been loved. How do you stop that from happening? You wash it inside out. Did you know that? Might be able to be safe. This is an OG jersey. Yeah. So when the Chargers were in San Diego, they were playing in Qualcomm, and I was in like third grade, we visited. This joint was, like the sleeves went down to here on me. Had it customized, B Donnelly, there wasn't a 56 on the Chargers at the time. <laughs> Still dripping on <laughs> It was the discount shirt, I think that's why. You know. Remember the powder blue rivers one? Yes. That I have now? Uh -huh. Yes, Ryan nice. really has that's this one. Man City training jersey. Come on, man. This is oh, limited edition stuff. That's cool. I think that was a birthday gift. You still haven't worn it, though. Look at that. That wasn't a birthday gift. Oh. Mm, rusty. Okay. Uh, I've got some uh, exclusive connections. Oh, I see. How about that? Yeah. How about Beautiful. That? Boom. Who is that? It's Brennan. It's Brennan. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should have Donnelly on the back, but... I mean, Brennan is. It's cool, too. It's cool. Uh, this is last year's City jersey, as are all the rest of these. Flannel season. Oh, that's a good shirt. Does that still fit? Beautiful flannel. Yes, it does. Okay. This beautiful Icelandic soccer jersey. Oh, yeah. Did you get that in Iceland? Yeah. Remember I don't we remember. To, we went to the sports store and we got the Iceland jersey. I remember that. I don't remember I that. Remembers. I think I wore this shirt for homecoming freshman year. Okay. Um, it is size 32-33. Don't know what that means, but... As far as I can tell, it still fits. Okay. Me and City. Now we go way back. Some more that is nice. Why don't you wear that? You should wear that more often. Well, because it's been... It's hot out. 90 okay. degrees outside. Okay. Very good. I haven't seen black, it. it's so, black, uh, so... Okay. Good point. And then, of course, I've got about 14 of these jerseys, so I might posh mark like one or two or <laughs> sign them and sell them for charity or something like that. Okay. Sounds good. How about that? And I think that concludes our closet tour. Thank you guys for hanging in with me. I know it was tough. No. So really, we didn't get rid of much. Stop. That just shows how organized I am. You really are. So what does that mean? We're looking for shorts, and that's it? I do need to get some new kickers, though. Like what kind? I'm getting new sneakers. Okay. All right, Brennan, well, we did a pretty good job over here. I think we did. We'll take care of uh, all of this and pass them along to your brother, and we'll go back to school shopping soon. Thanks. All right, whose turn's next? We'll do Katie next. I think Katie's next. Now it's Katie Gates' turn. Welcome. Happy to have you. <laughs> My closet, which doesn't really stay closed, if you no. can't tell. Yeah, we need to. And I feel like at some point, I should probably just redo this whole inside. I think you're right. It's kind of, it's kind of like a mess. It is a bit of a mess. Do you think you need new organization? Yeah. 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 We had it set up like that from. Or what if I like took out all of this stuff and like made my beauty thing like in here. Then where would you put your clothes? Like I could just put like all of this stuff doesn't need to be hanging. I could get like one of those dressers with like a dresser drawer and put a lot of my clothes in there. Like I don't need to have my shorts and my sweatshirts in my closet. And, like the only things here that really need to hang are like my dresses. I'm smelling a room makeover. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel like I smell it too, low key. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, right now, let's, uh, let's, let's put that in. As my fifth grade math teacher used to say, we'll put it in and turn the crank. 
and see what happens. Do you know, like an old time. No, he used to say like when you, when we would do um, uh, what do you call it uh, algebra, he would say okay so yeah, if algebra in fifth grade. Oh, sorry. I, did I say fifth? I meant eighth. You did say fifth. Eighth. I meant eighth. Mr. Brown. And he used to say, so we would like X equals four or whatever. He said, okay, put it in, turn the crank, and is it the right number? And it comes out, you know, you do the equation and find out if it comes out right. I like that you remember that. Oh, my gosh. He was the best math teacher ever. I you loved him. My math teacher was Miss Oh, she was your fifth grade math teacher. Fourth grade. Oh, fourth grade. She was wonderful. Scrum skedaddle skin. <laughs> And not well, only last day of school, she said, "Scrubs, get out of school. You went up to fifth grade." Ah! It was so sad, bro. <laughs> she also had a chocolate fountain. She did have a chocolate fountain. Also, I want to. I need to update yes. my picture wall. Yes. And I need to move them because that one frame is fall, like, kept yeah, falling. Yeah, what the down. heck? Okay. So I'm gonna because all those pictures are also really old. Okay. So we're gonna figure it out. Okay. Right now, let's concentrate on the closet. Right and then now, we'll... we're gonna think of the different project because I. <laughs> And then we'll move on to the rest of the room a little bit later. How about that? Okay. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. Also, I need a new one of these because the cat scratched lots of holes in it. Mm. And it also has like stains on it because I eat in my bed all the time. Maybe you shouldn't eat in your bed all the time. I know, but it's so comfy. Oh, oh my gosh. And when my friends come over for sleepovers and we're like yeah. coming back from being out and we want to watch TV and eat popcorn in my bed. Mm -hmm. Popcorn doesn't stain, so you must be eating But there's so much popcorn in my bed. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. All right, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Right now, we're dealing with trying to figure out what to get for back to school clothes. So let's figure out what you can take out. And we're going to know whatever we take out that is sellable, we'll sell on Poshmark. Cool. So you guys, um, watch out for the next video where we will be setting up our Poshmark accounts. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.